Hi, my name is Jonathan, this is Nate, and this is Hot and Cold Movie Reviews. Today we're reviewing Star Trek Into Darkness, directed by J.J. Abrams and starring Chris Pine. So, Star Trek Into Darkness, when... So, the captain, Captain Kirk, is... Um, before they become captains, they are supposed to give a captain's oath, um, you know, once they, so they can join the Starfleet, in this case, in case the Enterprise. And in that oath is that to boldly go where no man has gone before. And I wish the movie would have done the same. They did not boldly go anywhere that hasn't been gone before. They cowardly went to the same formula that has been done a million, a million times. Now, I understand, okay, and even, you know, honestly, I think plot is not as important when, when critiquing a movie. I didn't even think the plot was that good. It, literally, there was no, you know, create like Oblivion. That's why I liked Oblivion, because it had such a crazy cool plot. This had no twists and turns, no surprises, and really, literally it was just fighting one guy. No, no it, it, it built upon everything, as far as even the last movie, with the space-time continuum being uh, redone, and then also the original uh, Star Trek movie series, as far as the, the villain coming back. And then also, I mean, did you know who the, the blonde was in the movie? Do you know who she was? Which blonde? The, the blonde that, uh, the Admiral's daughter. Oh, yeah. Okay, who was she? The Admiral's daughter, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, but who was she in the first movies? I have no idea. Exactly. <laughs> but see, this is what I'm saying. They built upon what the first movie was and then also the other movies that were in the original Star Trek uh, series, as far as uh, when William So they Chandler built upon played. it. They built upon so it. So it was a sequel. It, it, We've established that already. What about the movie? It was great. It was action-paced. It was fun. It was, I mean, it, it, if you're a Star Trek fan, you will love this movie. Everything that about no, this. No, you, you will like this movie if you're a fan of Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Because it has enough one-liners to write a book. Let's finish this. Let's get the son of a bitch. It's time to save the day. Bunch of bullshit over and over and over again. It, and the acting was Terrible! Oh my wow. god, it was terrible. The only decent actor was Chris Pine, who I was pleasantly surprised he did better than he normally does. But for the most part, it was absolutely terrible. Um, they somehow managed to bring the old Spock into it, even though there was no great place for him. It was completely unrealistic. They should have died so many times. There's one scene where, a, at the very beginning, where a spaceship hovers over a, a, a crowd of very uh, high up people, all the generals and the. I don't know what you call them in Star Trek, but anyway. All that a guy could have done to kill every single one of them in the room is fire one big bomb in there. But to draw the movie out, he fired little bullets and killed some of them. And then the, the, some of the main guys left. It's, you know, and they should have died 100,000 times. It was like watching this all eight seasons of Weeds. You knew she should have died like a million times. It was completely unrealistic. And the acting was terrible. The script was awful. I've already established that. The only thing good about it was the amazing best of the year so far special effects, which blew me away. I was enthralled by it this movie I, I totally disagree this movie was good start to finish action-packed uh fit the following line i mean sure it was you know a couple times where it's star trek you know the captain is the person that goes out and does you know the front line work okay that's that's been established that that always happens the guy in the red suit does die we already know that but as far as the plot goes, as far as the character uh, development, as far as it being a different space-time continuum uh, with the, the characters, it fit in line with everything that was going on in there. And then I can't wait to the other sequels that they have You see what I'm talking about? It fit in line. It did yes. the next step. It was a sequel. No, 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 no. We already it, know it's a sequel. We already know there's going to be something new. We already know it's going to continue the plot. Yeah, what about but, how good the movie was? But I don't. You're wanna, not saying how good the movie. You're just saying it continues the plot from previous times no, and connects it well no. and connects the dots well. That just says nothing about how uh, good the movie was. I, you know, the movie was shit. It was boring to watch. No, I didn't no. care about. He any doesn't of this understand stuff. Star Trek. Star Trek. I understand Star Trek. Fit in I, perfectly. I if, understand if movies. You, if you don't understand Star Trek and what they were really trying to do and everything that went about the characters, you'd understand. See, that it fit you're in going line. back in circles. I already agree with you on that. It, it connected the dots very well, but that doesn't say anything about how the movie was. 
No, as far as the space time continuum changing, I mean, I don't want to give yeah. away the plot. It connected and, and spoil the, the whole, it connected whole the dots. It flowed well. It, con it connected the plot together. It continued it from other Star Trek All right, series. Well, I don't want to give away uh, the, but the end of this. That says nothing about how the movie was, and I'll tell you about how the movie was. Besides it connecting the dots well and continuing in the plot for Star Trek fans and opening it up for another damn sequel that I hope they don't make, it was awful. Uh, they'll make another one. They've already made quite a bit of money this opening weekend. But anyways, uh, my rating that I gave it, I gave it a 4.5. This is definitely one that you want to see, especially if you're a Star Trek fan. If you're not a Star Trek fan, you won't appreciate it. Um, I gave it a 1.5 out of 5 because I have to give it for the flow of the movie. It wasn't choppy. Um, it, it, you didn't, it didn't break up your emotions and keep you going back and forth. It did well of... The, the rise in tension keeps going up and up and up and up and up in the climax. I appreciate that movie because pe people screw that up a lot. And I really appreciate the special effects. So I have to give it one and a half you know, out of five instead of zero. But the rest of it was pure shit. All right. Well, thank you for uh, tuning in to uh, Hot and Cold Movie Reviews. I'm Jonathan. This is Nate Tucker. And we'll see you next time.